Perry. Alternative endings offer players a conclusion tailored to their playstyle and decisions throughout their journey. And in Silent Hill, every ending tells the story a bit differently. There are currently 36 possible endings across the 8 main Silent Hill games. I know not every ending is considered canon, but some of these endings are too hard to ignore. Whether it's for their emotional impact, humour or creative direction, these endings give an epic twist to the Silent Hill stories. Is it really over? These are my 10 best endings in Silent Hill games. Silent Hill Bad Ending Look, imagine you're playing Silent Hill for the first time. There's nothing quite like it. The confusing scares, the eerie atmosphere, the deep secrets of the town, all to save your daughter Cheryl. And after hours in this unsettling world of fear and fog, it's revealed that the entire story was an end-of-life hallucination of Harry's. Yep, he's dead. Still in the car that he crashed at the beginning of the game. I know a lot of people don't enjoy the typical, it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine trope in stories, but this one is a lot darker and ties into the crash at the beginning of the game. Just imagine the fear of receiving this ending in your first playthrough, knowing that all you've done so far was the vision of a dying man who's hallucinated. Now that is a bad ending. Silent Hill 2 Rebirth Mary, you look so peaceful. Forgive me for waking you. Silent Hill 2 is an emotional game that can pull at your heartstrings. But seeing James Sunderland row his dead wife to an island at the centre of the lake didn't pull at my heartstrings, it pulled my jaw wide open in shock. This man has gone insane and is attempting to revive his dead wife by following ancient rituals at the Church of Rebirth. The old gods haven't left this place. And they still grant power to those who venerate them. Power to defy even death. You know, it was sort of motivating to see James push and push to find his wife Mary, but that wasn't determination, it was just pure delusion. She's dead. What's curious about this ending is we never actually see the ritual take place. All we see is James rowing to the island, so we never know what happens next. Ah, Mary. All I know for certain is that the song that plays during the credits of this ending absolutely slaps. Silent Hill Origins Bad Ending <laughs> The entire reason why we play horror games is for, well, the horror. That's why the bad ending of Silent Hill Origins is one of the best for me. As someone who hates feeling claustrophobic or like things are grabbing onto me, seeing Travis bound to this bed and unable to escape, and hearing voices of flashbacks of the Butcher is a nightmare. Some theories suggest that Travis went insane and that he is the Butcher and he's replaying the memories of his serial killer past. Some say he's locked away and being tortured by the Order. Either way, this ending is incredibly unsettling and made me want to play through the game again just to see Travis escape in his truck instead. Silent Hill 3 Normal Ending Is it really over? Not yet. You're still alive. Heather? What the? What Heather? What? Oh! <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> Not every ending has to be shocking or have spaceships. What makes the normal ending of Silent Hill 3 one of the best is just how suitable it is for the whole story. It's a great conclusion for Heather's journey. It's acceptance with a slight chuckle in there too. I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? What makes this ending particularly good in my books is everyone unlocks it on their first playthrough. It's nice having a Silent Hill game conclude so satisfyingly, knowing there won't be any online debate over if this is the canon one. No, 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 look at this one! <laughs> this ending just makes me feel nice and happy for Heather. It's the ending she deserves. Silent Hill Downpour, full circle ending. No, 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 no!
Those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. And doomed is exactly how you feel when you realise Murphy Pendleton is trapped in Silent Hill. Look, say what you want about Downpour, but this ending is terrifying. By playing the game with good karma, Murphy is shown as sympathetic and trying to move on from his past, his history of pain and self-loathing, by embracing others and doing the right thing. But if he kills Anne Cunningham in his final fight, he will be punished for not changing from his past self at all. He is still the boogeyman. Boogeyman? What are you talking about? Who said that? Because of his murderous instinct, he wakes up back in his cell, exactly where he started, doomed to replay this torture all over again from the beginning. In most instances, bad endings have your main character killed off, but I think being stuck in this rightly named full circle is a much worse fate. And we're the ones who decided. Silent Hill 4, 21 Sacraments. I'm home. I won't let anyone get in my way. I'm gonna stay with you forever. Look, I know everyone feels shut down after receiving what's classed as the bad ending of the game, but 21 Sacraments really breaks the spirit. This ending sees Walter and his child manifestation in room 302, whilst the radio reveals that a bunch of people we know are the victims of the 21 Sacraments, including our neighbour Eileen, Superintendent Frank, even Henry. The last body discovered was found in room 302 of the South Ashfield Heights Apartments. It is believed to be that of its occupant, Henry Townsend. It's said on the radio that Henry's body was disfigured beyond recognition, making identification impossible. Give him a break! All the while, Walter is stood in the haunted and otherworldly possessed apartment. This ending isn't necessarily a satisfying ending to our journey, but my god, it sure does make us feel destroyed and defeated more than a lot of other bad endings. More news to follow. Silent Hill, good plus ending. Okay, so the regular good ending of Silent Hill is great, but this one feels so complete and is pretty heartwarming too. So in the normal good ending, we see Harry escape with his baby. He's left with all those nightmares behind and we feel accomplished, but let's take that to the next level of victory. The good plus ending is rewarding conclusion for those willing to go the extra mile to save Sybil and complete the Kaufman side quest. It isn't completely clear what we need to do for this, like most things in Silent Hill, but by searching around the town and finding the right codes and items, we can escape this town with Sybil. What's more is this ending will also replay the introduction scene of the game where Harry finds his baby, but this time his wife Jodie is replaced by Sybil. Fuck you, Jodie. I don't know, it's just a really fulfilling end to our nightmare, you know? This one is kind of like a feel-good ending, you know? If you got this on your first playthrough, fair play, because this is like a really nice hardware ending. I don't know, I like it. Silent Hill 2 in water. Hey, remember I said earlier Silent Hill 2 can pull at your heartstrings? Yeah, this'll do it. The in water ending of Silent Hill 2 is mind blowing. After defeating the mutated version of Mary, a short cutscene plays where James is speaking to her on her deathbed. Mary tells him that he's suffered enough before dying in his arms. What follows is audio of James driving into the lake. Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. Now we can be together. And after this, we read Mary's full gut-wrenching letter to James. And I struck out at everyone I loved most. I won't put you through the entire letter. James. Shut up. But be prepared to drown in your feelings after receiving this ending, as the dialogue is brutally upsetting to listen to. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. A lot of people believe that this is the correct ending of Silent Hill 2. And if it is, what beautifully horrific way to end James's story. All alien endings. 
Look, there was no way I could ignore the joke endings in this list, but I also couldn't put every single alien in this list because half the list would just be extraterrestrials. The alien endings of Silent Hill are charming and some of the most memorable experiences a lot of players have with Silent Hill. The insane contrast between our nightmare world and a spaceship visit from another is hilarious. Also, the dialogue for these are always amazing. I love how Harry's first question to the aliens is if they've seen his daughter, or how the psychiatrist transforms into an alien. But my personal favourite is the chaos at the end of Silent Hill 3's alien ending. I'm certain that those of you familiar with Silent Hill clicked on this video with some anticipation for the joke endings, so I'm glad to say they are up here with the best in the series for me. Silent Hill 2 Dog Ending Okay, you knew this was gonna be here. You knew this was gonna be here! I'm not hearing anyone out about how, oh my god, this is so predictable. Why didn't you pick one that's canon and true to Silent Hill? Look, here's why. I guess I really don't care. This ending sees James Sunderland enter the dog room of Lakeview Hotel in Silent Hill. This is where he finds a cute little Sheba called Myra at a control centre. And it's revealed that she has been behind everything. This ending caused some people to buy the game in the first place, just to see this dog ending themselves. It is the spawn of so many memes, and is the most confusing and fun ending in the entire series. For those of you that want a deep lore reason why there's a dog ending, it's because if we swap the letters D and G, we get- 